Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to our installment of Scott Selections here for Sunday, June 27th. For again, today's play of the day, quick recap of what happened yesterday. We had a pretty tough loss in basketball with the Clippers on the money line at plus 100 in bet MGM. Clippers hung around. Unfortunately, they opened up a big hole for themselves in the first half before waking up in the second half. They had a couple of chances to take the lead in the fourth quarter. None of them worked out, and the Clippers eventually fell short. I believe the Clippers were 0 for 12 from the floor with a shot to either tie or take the lead. So they really just couldn't get over the hump. And to make matters worse, you had the controversial non-review involving the Cameron Payne play with about 10 seconds left or so, which would have given the Clippers the ball back and said they had the foul. It's one thing if you think it was off somebody else, but at the end of the day, you got to review that. And they simply just didn't do it. And that definitely took a pretty decent opportunity away from us for the Clippers to get another possession and potentially win the game. But it's in the past. Look for a bounce back winner here on Sunday. However, I didn't really like anything on the card. Uh, You had Pretty limited card, one basketball game and a couple baseball games, but of course no hockey because the Stanley Cup starts on Monday. So I decided to pivot a little bit and do something that we haven't done in a couple of weeks. We're going to be talking about tennis. And if you do follow tennis, you know that Wimbledon, the third Grand Slam event of the year, is going to be starting on Monday. But it starts in the early hours of the morning since it's taking place in the U.K., so I decided to give out the video on Sunday, so you have a lot of time to actually bet it. But looking at the play today, it's going to be a matchup in the men's side between Benoit Pair and Diego Schwartzman. And for the play of the day, we like the over in this spot. The best line currently available is over 31 and a half at minus 120 on bet online. Time recording of 1250 a.m. Eastern time. Covering is why I like the over in the spot. First of all, simply shopping your lines. Minus 120 is a great deal. You can find the same exact bet at over 31 and a half games at minus 145 on bet MGM. So you're saving automatically 25 cents of juice just by shopping your lines. And I do think you will see more over money coming in on this match. Now looking at Schwartzman, and why he's a huge favorite in this spot is because he's a top 15 player in the world. And the fact is that Benoit Pair has been awful so far in 2021. However, Schwartzman has never been good on grass. It's definitely the weakest surface that he has played on. Great on hardcore, great on clay. Grass, not so much. And to make matters worse, Schwartzman has not played on grass since 2019. He's dodged entirely, played no matches on grass in 2020, and definitely skipped all of the grass events leading up to Wimbledon because he has not played since the French Open ended. But looking at Pear, he did end up playing against Andy Murray in one of the minor grass tournaments a couple weeks ago. So Pear should be a little bit more familiar with the surface. And if any of you have played tennis or you simply just watch tennis, you know how difficult it is to actually change surfaces, whether you're going from hard court to clay, clay to grass, grass to hard court, or vice versa. It usually takes about a match or two before you fully adjust to the surface that you're playing on. And I do think that Schwartzman could find himself in a bit of a dogfight, especially for a guy who's favored by this much. I think Schwartzman will get off to a slow start, and I do think eventually he'll figure it out on grass, but I do think Pear could hang around and potentially even win a set, which should definitely help out the over. But looking at Schwartzman, I mentioned how grass is worse surface. He has never made it past the third round at Wimbledon, which is easily the worst performance that he's had out of all the other Grand Slam events. Wimbledon's definitely had the worst results. But looking at Benoit Pear, he's the exact opposite because Pear's best surface is arguably on grass. He's made it to the fourth round of Wimbledon twice, and if you look at how Pear actually plays, his game is pretty well suited for the grass. A lot of pretty interesting, I'd say, serves a net play, a lot of slices, a lot of, I'd say, just very unique shot selection. And I do think that his very interesting spin-based style of play should end up keeping Schwartzman off guard. And I do think that you will see Pear have some success in this matchup against a top 15 player in the world. Do I think he's going to win? Probably not, because of the fact that Pear is mentally a lunatic, and the fact is that sometimes his shot selection is too creative for his own good. But to talk about the motivation, that's kind of why Pear has been awful so far this season. He has referenced that the struggles with the lack of motivation is because of the lack of fans in attendance for the last year and change, but Wimbledon is supposed to have a decent crowd, and Pear tends to play a lot harder during the Grand, Grand Slam event. So I do think you'll see Pear showcase a little bit more energy than what you have been seeing for the last couple of months. And I do think Pear should be able to win probably a set, if not two, against Schwartzman in this spot. Now, looking at the actual odds, both players to win at least one set is minus 118 on FanDuel. And you can get the over 31 and a half at minus 120 on bet online. I'm going with this instead. I'll pay the extra two cents of juice because you do have a great chance to win this bet, even if he doesn't win a set, because you do have the 7 5 6 4 6 4 draw. You have a tiebreaker draw, which definitely helps out the over. At the end of the day, I think Schwartzman should probably win the match, but I do think Pear is good enough on the surface to at least win one set and to potentially turn this into a bit of a war. So play that once again here for Sunday, June 27th is going to be on Benoit Pear 
and Diego Schwartzman over 31 and a half games in their first round match at Wimbledon at minus 120 on bet on one. Bye, everyone.